morning, mid-morning, whenever you're watching this, the world at large. Uh, welcome to the first ever Tea Time with Latrina. My tea, unfortunately, has to be coffee because, as you can see, my toddler has uh, been working on her art recently. Hmm, I love her so much. <sighs> All right, so I was having the most wonderful conversation with one of my friends at a mutual children's dance. And what we had discovered was we both suffer from something that we call being touched out. Touched out. So anyone who's ever had an infant or a toddler, you know what this is. It's when your toddler and your infant is on you all day. Mommy, I love you. Mommy, I must touch you and hug you and love on you. And while we love that, because we do, we absolutely do love that, there comes a point at which we are officially touched out. And we do not want to be touched anymore. So when our loved ones come home from school, from work, from wherever they've been, maybe just down the road to get some groceries for us, we are so touched out. They want to come and give us a big hug, give us a big kiss. And while we would normally love that, we want to banish you to the farthest reaches of Hades for just a few moments. Just please, 30 minutes, an hour, give us some time to ourselves where we don't have to be touched and we don't have to give up that touch. Now for someone whose love language actually is touch, I never thought I would ever reach touch out. But after having three children and going through it with all three of them, yes, we do still get touched out. It is a thing. <laughs> Well, let me know what you think. Have you ever been touched out? Have you ever had this particular issue happen to you? I want to know. Please tell me my friend and I are not the only one. Oh, and if the children weren't enough, we are inundated with dogs as well. Oh, peanut butter, don't you eat that? No, sir.